How you doing guys, Zedai here. So I wanted to discuss this a little bit of a controversial topic relating to an Assassin's Creed Shadows. So as you know, Assassin's Creed Shadows will have two main uh, protagonists that you will be able to play as. Now, of course, there is also an option for you to go through the game and also just experience it only as one main character. But unfortunately, for a lot of people, and I will share my thoughts afterwards, that they just do not like the way that you will still have to play as Gyausuke. And Gyausuke, he is a, well, let's just say he's an African character that is, put, for some odd reason, portraying as a samurai in, well, in feudal Japan. Even though he never, as Gyausuke character is actually portrayed of a real life character that existed back in that era, but he never was a samurai. And I think he was a retainer actually instead. I might be wrong about that, but no, he was never a samurai. Of course, the, again, looks looks like they can't exactly keep up with the realism in terms of the real life and Assassin's Creed. Now, it's not it's, it's not really a big deal to be honest with you as well, since I'll, every single Assassin's Creed uh, main character were not real people. They were fictional people within these incredible, fascinating history that you perhaps would like to play the game and be part of that history, right? Let's, it's very immersive. But yet, in this case, a lot of people started saying, like, I just wanted to play Feudal Japan Assassin's Creed game. I do not want to play as a African character, uh, as a samurai that never existed. But it, again, it's just a lot of controversy relating to this. Now, in my opinion, initially, when I started looking up this trailer and just looking up uh, more breakdowns, information, details relating of this game, I'm, like, I'm looking forward to playing this game. But yet, I can understand reasoning why people just say, oh man, I want to play as a Japanese person. Japanese people were uh, samurai. I want to play as one of them. Why do, have to, why do we have to play as a black character, as a samurai in Japan? And yet, it's so rare that it never really... Well, again, I'm not going to say and admit here and say like it never happened. I'm just going to say it was so uncommon to see a black character within being as a samurai in real world. And yet, Ubisoft and the developers portraying this character within samurai because of the reasons. And you know how Ubisoft tends to be, especially since they don't want to... There's just a woke character, right? Like a lot of people just use this word for whatever the reasoning. In this case, perhaps maybe it is a good reasoning. But anyway, in my opinion, I don't really give a shit. You know, I want to play the game. I want to experience it for myself, what it's got in store. And honestly, to be honest with you, Yasuki to me is not an interesting character that I would rather play as. My favorite type of character, and I'll, I'll be honest, I'm kind of disappointed as well. I want to play as a ninja. And thankfully, Naoe, she is that ninja. But then I started hearing more about her breakdown, everything that she can and cannot do, the limitations. That's actually the same thing goes for Yasuke, the main African character, right? So basically, Yasuke, he cannot be more or less of a ninja. He doesn't have tools for as a ninja would have, right? He cannot climb as quickly, right? He cannot be silent as Naoe can. And But in different case, Naoe, she cannot group up and just go blazing, right? She cannot just take on and take care of multiple enemies at the same time. It's extremely difficult for her. And then outside of hearing that you can't even parry, or like, you know, kind of simplistic things because of the reasoning, whatever, that's just bullshit. That's on purpose they did these limitations to make sure that you actually play as Yausuke uh, while you're in that kind of circumstances within these battles. Maybe in a lot of cases I understand, but in my opinion, the best ninja and it is like Jin Sakai from Ghost of Tsushima. That is the best ninja. A samurai became a ronin and becomes a ghost, basically a ninja. And that's the best best of two worlds, basically. right? You're a brute. You can be silent. You can take down anything. You're basically one-man army. I love that. That is the best aesthetic that you should be going with in terms of the ninja and Japan setting. And especially being of a main Japanese character within Japan. That makes total sense. In this case, not so much. Why did they have to bring Yasuke into this plot and into this game? Now, sure, maybe there was not really having alternative kind of moments or thoughts, and they just genuinely wanted to tell the story of Yasuke and Naoe on their own terms and nobody else. If you want, you can play as Naoe. If you want, you can play as Yasuke. Of course, within the story, you still have to choose one or the other, but there are segments that you have to play as one character or the other. Kind of sucks, unfortunately. So there's obviously there will be some restrictions. In this case, I would, if there would have been, I don't know if I should say this, I'm gonna say that, I don't care. Basically, what if this would have been the other way around? Let's say it would have been a black um, 
female uh, samurai brute type, right? Just like Yaosuke, but it would be female version of that, right? And instead, it would have been a Japanese male ninja character. Who do you think will actually play as more, right? As a samurai of a, you know, an African female, as a brute, because that's very uncommon. It's just like Yasuke within this era. It's also uncommon. And yet also, when you look at the ninja being of a male protagonist, you know who actually everybody would want to play as? Obviously, it would be the ninja character, because it just... May, it would not also make sense for this character, for this ninja character, to not be strong as well. Because you should be able to parry. You should be able to deflect and block. Because I'm starting hearing more limitations that Naoi has, the ninja character. It's just that she's so nimble, she's so agile, she's so feeble, but yet she's not that strong. But that's what maybe also they try to find kind of limitations within there. So of course that's why you'll have to use Yaosuke more often uh, included, right? Again, I don't really agree necessarily with that kind of decision. I feel like they should not have any sorts of limitations. But again, maybe because of the male and, and female protagonist and uh, obviously female characteristics, they naturally are weaker than male. It's normal, it's character, it's science, it's human nature. It's not It's nothing out of the ordinary here. But yet also, after seeing what they've done with this case, you know, maybe it kind of totally makes sense as well. Because, again, men can be extremely agile, extremely fast and quick on their feet and their toes. Uh, as a ninja, it kind of makes total sense as well. Again, I don't know what they were thinking. Perhaps maybe that's the decision that they have went with. And of course, now I've been looking through a lot of people's thoughts and reactions and what they think about this trailer and just kind of the direction that Ubisoft decided to go with the Assassin's Creed Shadows. And they kind of annoyed the fact, majority of the people are annoyed the fact that they wanted a Japanese story about Japanese people. And putting in a Yaosuke, a kind of like a portrayal of the last Samurai movie, if you guys seen that. Uh, like Tom Cruise being in it. But again, it's not to say it doesn't work since the game have not yet come out. So perhaps we shouldn't even be judging it so harshly. You know, it actually kind of raises another question. Okay, well in that case, why not? Why don't we have a Japanese female coming to Africa? and fight the warlords in Africa. Why don't you make that? They never would think about this or doing something like this. You see, there's always a lot of ways of interpreting this sort of situation, these circumstances, and just seeing on a negative light. You know, just to think about it as well, maybe all of this is just a whole lot of bullshit and we shouldn't really care about this sort of things and just enjoy the game for itself. You know, just what it got in store and hope for the best that it will actually turn out to be good and at least lives up to the moments of like an Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and games like such as those. Right, incredible stories, incredible uh, worlds, maybe similar to like Assassin's Creed Black Flag as well. I don't know. If they can live up even too closely to those similar times, then yeah, I think they have something special here. But if this is nothing else just other than Assassin's Creed Origins, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Assassin's Creed uh, Valhalla, and nothing really changes ever, then that's just uh, nothing is good news related to this, unfortunately, then. But anyway, it doesn't really matter in my case. I'm gonna enjoy the game, I'm gonna be paying attention a little bit more towards this gameplay and features that it's got and what to expect in the future as well in terms of its content and DLCs that will be popping up. But nevertheless, I hope it will turn out to be good. Uh, I'm not really holding my breath to be honest with you, we are talking about Ubisoft here. But uh, let's just hope for the best. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, see you guys all, and uh, yeah, have a wonderful day.